Hey guys, Pastor Scott here. Um, I just want to encourage you as we go through the 40 days of prayer to make sure that you're staying engaged every day. You can get online uh, and check out under the resources, the 40 days of prayer blog. And each day you can read just, just something to encourage you within that. As I was reading Isaiah 40, 31, it says, Yet those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They'll mount up with wings like eagles. They'll run and not get tired. They'll walk and not become weary. But while I'm waiting, what will you do? I will praise him while I'm waiting. I will worship him while I'm waiting. I'll read his word while I'm waiting. I'll seek to be filled with his Holy Spirit. While I'm waiting, I'll look for opportunities to share the hope that I have with others. While I'm waiting, I will continue to do the work that he's given me to do. While I'm waiting, I'll count the miracles the breath in my lungs, uh, my salvation. I have clothes on my back. I have shelter. Um, I, I have a, a wife, um, kids, amazing grandkids. I have an incredible church family. So many miracles, so many blessings in our lives. As we're waiting on the Lord, does it mean that we just go and sit in the corner and do nothing? You see, God renews and strengthens those who are weak. He's the one who lifts us up. He's the one that revitalizes us and empowers us. He helps us persevere when everything inside of us tells us that we can't go on. We can't go a step further. When we surrender our will, our programs, well, then we gain his ability. We gain his power and to run as far as he wants us to go. Wait upon the Lord and he will renew your strength. As you're praying, do as Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That's why we do the 40 days of prayer every year. It's so our focus isn't on the anxiousness of the world and everything that's going on around us or even our personal circumstances, but our focus is on God and the peace and the strength that he gives us. He will give you what you need. Dig in, spend time on your knees, spend time simply talking to God. Circumstances may or may not change but you will have the strength and you will have the peace to carry on.